What if there is beyond more with what everything that we can see right now? We know that matter is everything around us. It's anything that has mass and takes up space. But let's take this a little bit further, shall we? Normal matter, the kind of matter that we see, is only a tiny fraction in the universe, just around 5%. While the 95% left is that we cannot see, can be detected, and made of something that we don't know much about. Hence, it's called the dark matter. Now, the ultimate question is, what is the dark matter? The name dark matter was coined in 1930s by Fritz Wicke, who measured speed of galaxies inside a group of galaxies called galaxy cluster. We know that gravity, the force that pulls all matter together, is directly proportional to mass. That means that the heavier the object, the greater its gravitational pull. And the reason that we are not flying away from solar system is due to the sun's gravitational pull towards Earth. What's really interesting to know is that Fritz Wicke found out that some galaxies were moving around too fast that they can simply flung off. Therefore, he concluded that there must be a missing or invisible mass that pulls them together in orbit that even at their high speed, they would not fly apart. So how do scientists know that dark matter is really there even if they cannot see it? Well, there are many ways. Take this one for example. Imagine you're playing volleyball with your friend. She does the balls towards you, but suddenly, it turns for a split second like it hit an invisible wall in its path, then continues its original path towards you. And that's how dark matter similarly behaves. Massive galaxy clusters have a great amount of gravitational pull in them. Thus, it can bend and distort light of more distant galaxies located behind the cluster. This phenomenon is called gravitational lensing. Scientists can measure the amount of a mass a galaxy cluster has, based on the bending of light. With this, scientists learned that the actual amount of the cluster galaxies does match to the observable matter, because it has more mass that they can see. Thus, proving that there must be dark matter that completes or the actual amount of their total mass. The dark matter is the missing mass. As time passed by and the innovation of science and technology develop, human discover new things that we once never knew about. Once we see the universe is how they are, but now, what we see is it what actually there is. It's time for us to look for things beyond the spectrum of light. There are more to explore in the great realm of dark. Dark matter is everywhere. It loses the galaxies together. We know that it's there, but the riddles and the puzzles on its true nature remains one of the biggest unsolved problems in peace. A problem that hasn't been waiting to be solved. So, the next time you did something based on how it looks, think first and think deeper. So, what, what do you think? think?